this week's Crusader Coaches Show. This week, a uh, bit of a change. We're going to talk to the two star pitchers on the baseball team, Jake Reppert and Colvin McGuire, who uh, have both been Pitcher of the Week uh, already this season and who have been dominating opponents so far this season. Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks for having us. Uh, let's start off with how much fun has the season been so far uh, with you guys throwing the way you are? It's been, it's been a lot of fun. Um, not just us two either, just the whole team. It's been a much better start than we had last year, so it's been a really, really good uh, improvement for us. So we're pleased with how things are going. Yeah, we really came together as a team, I think, and kind of just going to keep building from that. So it's definitely been a lot funner than it was beginning last year. Seven and one combined for you guys. Uh, what has been going right? Uh, personally for you guys on the hill. Start with you, Cole. Um, I think it's just our focus. I mean, we're have a lot more focus and we're committed to what pitch we're going to throw. And Obviously the trust behind our defense, they can turn double plays, they can make the crazy plays. And got good outfielders, everybody can do their part. So I think that helps a lot when we're looking at how we perform. It's like we depend on them to help us out. So. Yeah, the defense has been awesome. And the biggest difference for me is just being healthy. Uh, I got hurt early last year, so it's been nice to not have any arm difficulties this year, and I've been able to stay consistent and focus on every pitch, like Colton said. How much has that changed? I mean, people look at your stats last year, and they don't realize that, you know, at the start of the year you were a starter, but you had some, some injury problems. And how much has that changed what you've done this year to be healthy? It's, I don't know, I feel like I'm probably surprising people. Well, I know the scouting report for St. Martin's that they had on me was not anywhere close to what I am. So it's it's surprising teams, I think. Which is, I mean, it's surprising me a little bit too. You know, I don't expect to have this much success leading in several categories, statistical categories across the conference. So, um, and I knew I would be able to pitch well, but I just had to prove it to everyone else. So but it's been it's been good. Talk about your performance. You were the, the so-called ace of the staff last year because you got the number one start. How have things changed uh, moving back in the lineup, which doesn't mean anything about who's the number one guy on the hill, but how has that changed things for you moving later in the weekend? Well, I guess like the whole first day, I'm just charting, so I get to see a lot of at-bats, a lot of different pitches and where guys miss, and so that's definitely an advantage that I've gained, but I guess an extra day off and another day watching baseball. So, You guys, I, I know talking with Coach Musgraves, he's, he's talked a lot about your focus uh, for both of you of not trying to overpower hitters, letting the defense work. How much of that has changed from one year to the next for you guys? Well, last year I think we can both agree that I mean, it was – we couldn't get any breaks. Like we'd lose those one-run ball games. Probably lost every single one-run ball game, and those are like the hardest to pitch when it's just come down to maybe two errors, maybe a throwing error, or a little booted ball that led to another single. So I mean, defense we have this year is not feeling like not funner to watch and play with. So. And I've been in situations on the other night when the leadoff guy got a hit and. Uh, Tyler Davis, the second baseman, said, we're going to get a double play right here. And two pitches later, ground ball right to him. And he and Tucker turned the double play. So it's been really uh, nice to have a really solid team defense across the board. And every guy, every guy is just kind of confident in each other's abilities. So it's nice to, to have that behind you. OK, now the tough question. Three runs and 36 innings, a couple of uh, complete game shutouts. I think you're leading the uh, the league in strikeouts, 11 uh, this weekend, 12 last weekend, and a couple of complete game wins. Who's the better pitcher? <laughs> I, I don't know. We right now. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not really concerned about it as long as we're both pitching well. Yeah, I don't as see any team keeps winning games. Yeah. It's not. There's not really a rivalry between us. So, you know, we're just kind of more cheer each other on, supporting right? each other. Yeah. I mean, we definitely give each other crap. I mean, we go at each other in practice, and, and it's fun. It's all fun, but we're definitely going for the guy who's on the mound. So it doesn't matter which any of us that are pitching. So 
what, what uh, some Coach Sauce said last year was that the best pitcher on the team is the guy on the mound at that point in time. That's just kind of the idea we have during the game. How much is that uh, helping the rest of the team? I mean, last year it, everybody got a lift when Vaughn took the hill. Now you've got both of you, I mean, you're throwing incredible and we can't leave out Blake or Colton or Groves or some of the other guys because, I mean, obviously what you guys have done statistically is overshadowing them, but I mean, the pitching staff has been pretty phenomenal. How much does that help the rest of the team? Well, we're able to have quick innings and it keeps the defense engaged in the game and we can go score a few runs and then pitcher goes out and puts up a zero gets the rest of the team fired up to, to keep going, keep working at it. So it, it keeps everyone engaged, I think, and gives everyone a lot of confidence to play. Yeah, no, I feel the same way. As long as we're throwing strikes, doing our job, like they're going to do our job. So as long as we can stay on that path and do what we got to do to win, I know it's still early in the year, but uh, this week, uh, number nine in the West region, you make the uh, top six, you make uh, the postseason. How much uh, do you guys bank on what's gone on so far, or does none of this matter and go out and have to worry about the next weekend and prove it all again? I think the only thing that matters is the next week, the next opponent. So all we're thinking about right now is Central Washington, uh, where we're going on, we're heading up there on Thursday. I think. That's all we think about, really. That's all you can't think about. You can't linger on the past because it's gone and just have to worry about what you're going to do next. Yeah, I feel the same. Yeah, that's pretty simple. I mean, all we think about is that first game. Or, I mean, for us, it's what game we're going to be pitching. But for everybody else on the team, it's their, their first at bat, that first pitch they're going to see. As soon as we walk in the yard, how we're going to act. I mean, thinking about how we're, we prepare for it all week. So. It's, it's probably a little premature to start talking about it, but uh, the kind of year you guys are having, it's going to draw some attention. What's next when this season's done? Uh, have you talked to scouts? Are you thinking pros? Uh, is that the, the major goal? That's the goal. I mean, I guess they've been there, so I was, I mean, that's the major goal. That's what I want to do. So. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what you grow up thinking about. So. As we come close to the end of our college careers and professional baseball is an opportunity, it, it starts to creep up in your mind and think, wow, this could actually happen. So, And we've seen guys in the past, the recent past from here, do it. So hopefully we'll um, both get the opportunity. How much of a boost would it be for the program to have uh, two pitchers off of this year's team get I drafted? I feel like it would be huge. I mean, um, the recruiting, I mean, it just probably just go up. It's already, we had good recruiting this last year, so I think if they could just, we had a couple guys get picked up out right here and the pitching staff would be nasty. Well, I appreciate you guys joining us this week and uh, good luck at Central. Good luck the rest of the year. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Max. Crusader baseball team was in action hosting Gene Akfo St. Martin's over the weekend in four games. After falling 14-12 in the opener, the Crusaders bounced back to take the next three, led by the pitching prowess of Jake Reppert and Colbin McGuire. Reppert earned his second complete game shutout, striking out nine. 
then Maguire came back with a two-hit 11K victory on Saturday. The Crusaders offensively were led by Caleb Dehas with seven hits, while Tyler Davis added seven hits and six RBIs on the weekend, along with hitting a home run for the Crusaders.